Hello my dear friends, welcome to day 10 and this is the final day of our SQL mini project challenge. But as we always say, last but definitely not the least, today we are going to create something very special that tells the story of your hard work, your consistency and your journey throughout these 10 days. And that something very special is called a project report. It's not just a regular report. It's your personal data success story. It's your success story. It is a way to show how consistent you were throughout the 10 days. Now, the question is where you will have to show your hard work. So LinkedIn, of course, a big yes. If you haven't created your LinkedIn account yet, please do it today. It will just take um, 15 to 20 minutes and um, it is obviously a worth uh, throughout your career. As your first connection, you can feel free to add me as your first connection on LinkedIn. I'd love to see your post and cheer on you. Now, once your report is ready, you have to upload it on LinkedIn with a short caption about your learning, your experience or anything extra special that you have learned throughout this journey. And one very important thing is that you either have to tag Data Pencil or Kalyani Bhatnagar so that I can review what you have created in your project report. Okay, because this project report will be very lengthy and you don't have to submit it via the submission form. Okay, no need to upload this project report. You directly have to post it on your LinkedIn account. You have to tag Data Pencil or you can tag Kalyani Bhatnagar. Then I will review your report and then um, the certificate is all yours. So guys, let's start. I have created a project report template for all of you. So just give me one second. Okay, so like other days, I will also provide you the PDF of day 10 challenge. Okay, once you will receive the PDF, you will have to open your laptop or your desktop and then do the right click. Correct? Once you do right click, you have to open it with the Google Chrome. Right? So let's open it with the Google Chrome. Now, here you can see it is written report template and click here. So this is just a template for your reference. It will definitely save your time and you only have to replace your work with the uh, dummy work here so now let's click over this click here button after after clicking on it you can see this thing and here i am assuming that you have one account on canva okay if you don't have any account on canva you can easily quickly create it uh, it will hardly take two to three minutes you only have to give your email id or uh, i guess contact number as well and then it will be created free of course no free uh, not a single zero rupee okay fine so once you will create your canva account then you have to click over this view template okay now let's view template so now click here open in editor after clicking you can see your canva account with this template okay fine in this template there is no element related to the canva pro after creating your work you can easily download it okay there is only one thing and that is demo i have written here demo uh, let me enlarge it so here you can see demo okay once you will replace this screenshot with your own sc screenshot after that you have to delete this demo okay only these demo parts are a part of canva pro other than that you can easily download them all right so now let's see one by one what basically you have to do so i have created this report template and here you can see it's written simply online food delivery you can change the color you can change the picture whatever you want to do you can do it's all your platform okay it's about your presentation i only created it just to help you if anyone doesn't want to uh, put any extra effort on this aesthetical look then it is fine they can use it this template as it is only they have to replace uh, the these dummy work with their original work okay fine so let me quickly explain how you can change everything so to uh, change the things let's if you want to change this photo you simply have to click over this photo here you can see the delete option you can delete if you want to upload anything you can come from here upload section okay and with this upload you have to click over this upload files once you will open it your uh, folders will start to open your drive will start to open and from there whatever you want you can upload and after uploading suppose this photo you want to upload so you have to double click over it and it will get uploaded you want to delete it here you can see the delete option so i'm not uh, giving you the training of canva right now I, i'm just telling you the basic thing so that you can create your report guys all right fine so um, this is the picture and you can change it and this is the text you can simply double click and you can change whatever you want here you have to put your name your email id okay 
if anybody wants they can put a contact number as well then there is a, t a table of contents here you have to put the table of contents on your own and then after that uh, the objective this objective is also just for the reference you have to change this objective as well then when you will come down there is data description you have to change this also like there are not four tables there are number there are total five tables you have to change this table description as well you have to uh, put these description carefully all right you cannot believe this blindly it is uh, I am telling you openly that this is a false information. It is just for the reference purpose. All right. So you have to change everything here. Then after that, you have to put the ER diagram here. All right. How to create an ER diagram? You can create it using uh, here this element. You can see you can create using these elements as well. Okay. Or whatever way you want, you can create your ER diagram. Then from here, from the page six, you have to put the queries. So I am talking about only summary queries this time. If you want to add additional queries from previous uh, like six seven days uh, six days then you can put them also but it will get very large file so i will prefer to avoid the past queries only uh, you can put the summary queries that we did on day seventh and on day eight okay you have to put the screenshot of the code and the result okay you have to put the screenshot of code and the result now one by one you have to put all the queries so this is query number one then it's query number two code and the result Query number three, code and the result. All right, likewise, you have to replace all these demo screenshots with your original queries screenshots. Now, after completing till query number 10, you have to come to this page, page number 16. Here, we have saved our charts. Remember, we have saved our visualization part. So we will paste all our visualizations also one by one. And below each visualization, whatever we are inside is, we have to write here whatever be the insight you are observing you have to write it here if you don't know how to uh, frame the sentence in a proper way you can take the help of google you can take the help of chat gpt and there are many AI tools you can take the help of them but try to make it as humanized as possible all right try to use your own sentence fine so after doing the visualization part for all 10 queries it means you have to put all 10 charts okay in the end there is one conclusion section, conclusion page at page number 26. Here you have to put the conclusion, whatever conclusion you have found from uh, all these queries. And you can also add whatever you have learned throughout this project. You can mention this also in the conclusion. But try to write everything in a humanized form. Don't try to simply copy and paste the AI version sentences. All right. Now in the end, it's just thank you. And if anything else you guys want to add, you can add. You are absolutely free. Uh, there is no foundation. You can make this report your own report. Okay. And you, uh, you can create it in your way, whatever your style is. But try to make it a professional. Don't put the colors like pink. Uh, uh, I'm telling you this pink. Okay. Uh, try to avoid such colors. Like blue is a color, fine. Gray is fine color. Okay, yellow is fine color. So I would suggest these things. Else, rest is your choice, guys. Okay, so this is it. This is what I want to tell for today's session. And see you all soon with new project, new challenges. And very important notice, guys, that you don't need to upload this project file via submission form because the file size is very large. And it will create problem when you try to upload it. So you have to post it on your LinkedIn account. You have to tag me. Don't forget to tag either Data Pencil or Kalyani Bhatnagar or you can tag both so that I can review you else. It will be very difficult for me to find out in the world of the LinkedIn, correct? So you have to tag me. And so this is it, guys. See you soon with new project and all the very best for your future. You all are super shining stars. Take care. See you. Bye bye.